Hello, English One. Um, this is going to be for your honor students. This is your video lecture for the passage on Grace Hopper. So what we have here today is your passage from Common Lit and your notes from Canvas. Um, I'm going to take you back to your Canvas page over here for just a second, let you see where you can find everything. And I'm going to go to my student view down here. So you can see it's the way it would appear on your screen. So we have our week of April 20th right here, your passage, Grace Hopper, and your nonfiction notes. Nonfiction notes over here on the left hand side, I'm going to be referencing, and then the actual common lit passage over here on the right hand side of your screen. So just like we did before we left for spring break, I broke down your passage based on the thieves approach that we talked about. Um, again, the purpose of a thieves approach is to help you understand the passage, um, breaking down the different parts and helping you understand what is significant to help you understand the passage. So we start with the title, which is the T. Um, title of your passage, Grace Hopper by Tim Slavin. So this is clearly going to be a biography, Tim Slavin writing this particular passage about Grace Hopper and her life. Um, we do not see a use of subheadings in this particular passage. Completely okay. Some biographies do, some biographies don't. Um, in this case for honors, it does not. And then we have the I, which is the introduction. So your introduction paragraph right here, um, it clearly starts off with emphasizing that Grace Hopper was female and that she worked in a career field that was not normal for women during that particular time period. Um, so kind of a big deal there um, that she was in this particular career field um, and that she was a woman. Every first sentence of this particular paragraph, what you're gonna notice is that they almost seem to keep one-upping themselves. Um, Tim Slavin, every time he starts a new paragraph, it's like, but wait, there's more and he just continually just piles on just how amazing Hopper was and how amazing her life was for the things that she was doing at the time, um, given her gender status. And then we have our visual of Grace Hopper in 1952. Um, biographies, a lot of time, obviously, if they can, they will include a picture of the person that the text is about, just to give the readers a visual to latch on to. Um, in this particular case, she is working on a piece of machinery, um, emphasizing again um, how powerful it was for a woman at this time to be in this particular field because it just wasn't done. Um, your vocab for this particular passage, going to focus on a lot of computer science jargon and lingo um, relating to her field of mathematics and sciences but then also the very important emphasis on gender and gender awareness, gender roles um, is really big. Your end of passage questions, um, they're not pulling up on my screen, so I apologize. Oh, maybe that's why, there we go. Your end of passage questions um, ask you, main idea essentially is what we're looking for here, the author's claim in the text, what purpose do they have for writing? Question two, um, supporting part A, which quote helps you understand that main idea or that claim. We've got a specific detail question here about this alarm clock um, and its development as compared to the rest of the particular work. Um, so when you read through that part about the alarm clock, you should be able to make a connection about why Tim Slavin would include that specific example and how it relates to the rest of Hopper's life story. And then we have our short answer question. How does the connection between the author, or what connection does the author draw between Hopper's gender and her career? Um, a big emphasis, guys, here on first female, okay? So you'll wanna make sure that you include in your response um, an explanation of how you understand her being a woman at this time period was such a big deal. There's multiple different examples throughout the passage um, about why her being a woman is such a big deal. It's not just the fact that she was a woman. You have to tell me why her being a woman was a big deal, okay? 
Um, and then essentially, like I said, this is a biography of Grace Hopper, outlines her life, it provides many details about her success in computer science, but also about how she led the way for women in this field, all of the things that she had to go through, um, and reasons why she went through what she went through in order to be successful in this particular career, okay? And that's gonna be it for us today. Make sure that you get your Grace Hopper passage turned in by 11.59 p.m. on April 21st. If you got any questions, just send me an email.